Three celebrations didn't just take place this afternoon at the Trek. They were taking place all morning long. News Channel 18's Elizabeth Rentschler was downtown this morning as people debuted their costumes for the first breakfast club of the season. Elizabeth. Kristen, dressing up in costumes and standing in line to get into a bar at 6 in the morning might sound strange to some, but for Purdue students, it's just another Saturday breakfast club. Grand Prix weekend as the greatest spectacle in college racing. But many people also know it as the first breakfast club of the year. West Lafayette Lieutenant Bill Gallagher says while the lines began forming around 6 o'clock Saturday morning, most participants were behaving themselves. With the cooler weather, the barricades up, the uh, all areas working in conjunction together, we've had a pretty quiet Grand Prix so far. There were a total of four officers patrolling on foot down here on State Street today. While their main goal was keeping people safe, they also wanted to allow them to have fun. We're here for them to enjoy themselves and have fun, but at the same time, we emphasize safety with the barriers as well as officer presence. We're looking for people sitting on barricades. As long as you're not leaning on barrier, I'm yeah. good, all right? Yep. We're looking for people that, that are showing obvious signs of intoxication. We're looking for people that are being disruptive. Or, or destructive, either way. Gallagher says the average amount of arrests made during a breakfast club gathering can range from none to half a dozen. But with only one arrest made during his shift, it left Gallagher with some time to enjoy the costumes and interact with breakfast club participants. So what was your favorite costume today? Well, there was a girl along uh, Ponytail Hunger Games that was, that was here that she really played the part. It was nice. As of 11 this morning, Gallagher says there was only one arrest made. Lieutenant Gallagher says even with the cool temperatures today, breakfast club participants were out later than usual. He says usually the lines outside the bars on State Street will disappear by 10 a.m., but this morning there were still lines out the door even by noon. And believe it or not,